I'm Tia Ewing in Studio 32. The body of a man inside a stolen funeral home van has been identified, but the suspect is still on the loose. The family says their loved one was left in the funeral home van outside, and they don't know for how long. This is 47-year-old Curtis Brown. He had a heart attack on the job and was on a ventilator. The family took him off last week. After the hospital released Brown's body, he was then transported in a van to Collins and Stone Funeral Home in Rockford. The family says the funeral home was recommended to them because they live in Mississippi. The van was reported stolen Saturday after and was later found on Chicago's south side. Two and a half miles away Monday evening, Brown's body was found in a Chicago alley. The search continues for that suspect as the family searches for answers saying they live in Mississippi and didn't know the history of the embattled funeral home. My question is why out of all the funeral homes that may be in that area, why at this particular time, a person would steal a van from up here at this friend of a home at this particular time and his body was in this van. So that's, that's my, you know, like them the questions that I, I keep asking myself over and over. And so far, that family still doesn't have those answers. Rockford police say they are looking for the man as a possible suspect. Meanwhile, the family has another funeral home that is actually embalming Curtis Brown. From there, he will fly back to his hometown in Mississippi, where he will be given a proper burial. Now, we did repeatedly contact that funeral home, and so far, we haven't heard back. Dane?